Hello today and this is going to be a quick demonstration of how to use um, CCS64. Right, I'm just going to load it, just load it up now. Right, first of all, when it comes up, it comes up in a little screen like this, depending on the resolution of your monitor of course. Um, right, so what I usually do, the first thing I usually do is set up my video. So what you do is click on options then video. And what I usually do to get it the right size how I want it to record, I'll put it on window times two. And okay, I'll just adjust it to fit my Bandicam window because I've got it on window record, not actual um, DirectX mode that I usually use. Um, so I can just show you the options. So first things first, before we use um, CCS 64, <coughs> this is a bit of a pain in the ass. this um, uh, CCS 64, I'll tell you why, because every time you start it, obviously you've got to keep setting it to the window you want it, or to the size you want it, and to use your joystick or whatever, you've got to keep going to input, then you've got to scroll down and calibrate your joystick. In this occasion I'm using my, which I don't really use on um, when I'm recording gaming because it makes too much noise but at the moment this is plugged in I'm going to be using my Speedlink joystick competition pro so first things you do is, is calibrate it while moving your joystick around and once that's configured um, you're done so you just push escape twice and it takes you back to the, the Commodore you know the main screen <coughs> basic screen whatever you want to call it um, so to load a game or load programs pretty straightforward you go to file load and run and then you can see a menu of all your where you, well where you store your games just that's the only thing that sticks into the memory is where all your games are saved it remembers that so basically we're just going to load a quick game, we're not going to actually play it. Let's just Agnes, I've never seen that game before in my life, but let's fucking give it a go. So, yeah. Okay. So let's just, um, oh, what the hell. To get away. I don't want to play the flipping game. Right. I wish I chose a game that I know now. This ain't the best games I've learned. Anyway, let's just, if you want to get out of that, you just go to reset. I always do hard reset. I, I never know what the difference is. I think soft is if you um, reset with the reset switch. Did Commodore 64 have a reset switch? I can't remember. I know I did have a reset switch for my Commodore 64 back in the day. Um, that was the part of the dual tape thing that I had plugged into the back. That had a reset switch on it. But I think the Commodore 64 just had an on off switch. Um, anyway, that's how you reset it if you want to reset your computer. Um, yeah, so let's go through some of the features, shall we? Alright, so if we go to menu, so you can choose which I honestly don't understand. I never had a disk drive back in, in the day for my Commodore 64, so. Don't know what really it does. Tape divide one. I don't really need to say it. Printer dev four to seven. No idea. Cartridge. You can have um, cartridge um, images in this. Special state. No idea. No idea. Reset sixty four. I suppose that resets it. Options. Quit CCX sixty four. Well, we know what that does. Continue. Okay. If we push escape, that takes you back. So load and run. We'd know what to do. Load C sixty four files which I don't use because I don't really don't use it, don't need to use it start multiply, multiply section, session, never used it it's basic, load process, save program, keyboard uh, I suppose you can change your keyboard um, layout uh, machine code, monitor reset, we've done, pause, pause the emulator, exit the emulator so view, status, disk drive so if I say whatever all that is, tape, cartridge, so really don't know, options, so we can change our language, general, 
so this gives you a general um, what's on here anyway so I really don't see the point of that so let's go for the menu this way so the video which I showed you sounds you can change um, the device whatever um, sound cards you desire to use so you can get your frequency so it's set on 44 16 yeah and all this the problem is as I said before if you change any of these settings you've got to re change them because it don't save the settings which is a pain I wish I knew how to do that right so inputs is obviously your joysticks you sometimes what I do if I don't want to use the joystick I can change the, um, the, the control the mode so I can use key set 3, key set 2, key set 1 right. we'll go through that so what key sets are and if you um, can define joystick key sets it comes up with this is the key set once so this is basically using keypad your keypads and your fire button is um, left up but you can change these if you want to which is a good thing because I do um, so because I don't use key set one what I usually do is use key set three is the cursor keys and I always change that um, fire battles from right mouse control right control to alt right alt because I use right control to start my bandy cam and that's what I always use that's why I've got it default to it's right control so I have to change the fire button there by pushing F1 and you can just push there it goes it sets it but as you say you can't save the situation you have to keep doing it that's what's pain about this CCX, CCX 64 you can't it won't save it for some reason unless there is a way of saving it if someone out there knows how to use it they can tell me right so escape there so we've seen that so I don't really understand so that's 1541 emulation I guess that's the disk drive um, so you got to keep that on I guess for, for, to use this disk drive speed 100% I don't want it any faster I don't want it any slower I like playing the games as it is um, but it could be handy to play them really slow like vector graphic games which the Commodore sometimes um, which is hard for it to process because of the processor and it's some, I did that with the Am one of the Amstrad games you could speed it, speed the processor up and it but it does make sometimes makes a good difference if you want if the game's rubbish and it's too slow you feel like oh, I'll give it more speed and it does play the game better but obviously it ain't authentic that way is it but it doesn't matter it's an option so system pow so that's obviously the resolution ROM set original so I didn't know you could change the ROM set um, reset memory pattern normal okay so let's have a look at is there any other options so we've gone through swap ports if you've got a joystick port um, it, you always usually use um, port 2 but sometimes on a game you could use port 1 so what you do you swap ports and joystick ports are swapped which is easy nice and easy and do it again if you want to if you load up another game next device port 1 next device port 2 I don't really know what that is this um, type 5 times speed speeds the all emulate later up by 5 times the speed um, it's handy if you've got multi loading games and it's really you don't want to sit there and wait because some of these multi loading games take forever and the same with maximum speed that makes it even quicker so they're handy to have if, as I say you've got the multi loads um, state so what this does, quick load, quick save, I don't know what it actually does, it ain't got nothing to do with um, saving your settings. Um, so free save, whatever that meant. So load and save, that ain't got nothing to do with it. Because that's, um, no, let's ignore that because that's nothing to do with it. Is it? I doubt it, but, but let's have a look, well, I can't tell now. I don't know, it could be, I don't know, I don't think it is. Um, save screenshot obviously if you want to save a screenshot um, save screenshot in PAL save screenshot in 250 kit 256 color mode I guess that is start video recording stop video recording so you can record um, what you see what you're playing um, but I 
it does not record your voice so that's not really no good to me as I say I use Bandicam to do that um, start sound recording or stop sound recording that's obviously to record this, um, the SID chip um, that can't come in handy and help you got your about C64 help home page yeah register yeah it's already done so basically if you want to start just set the um, as I said your video to whatever you want it so it's clear for you to see or clear for you to record as I say I use Windows times 2 because that's big enough for me to record with and I can see it and um, and obviously you have to set the the control settings if it's going to be your joystick or your if you want to use keys yeah I'll say apart from um, those niggles when you have to keep resetting your um, emulator up for how you want it and another annoying thing about this um, CCX64 after a while you've got the emulator on it starts to make an irritating noise and when you do that you've got to switch the emulator off and bring it back on again and then again you've got to reset all your bloody settings all over again but apart from that it's a great emulator I'd recommend it if you like Commodore 64 like using an emulator like I do because I have no space for like the original hardware anymore and I can't afford to buy all the old original hardware anymore um, emulators to me are the next best thing anyway I hope you enjoyed this I hope it helps you out if you're thinking about using emulators yep I would simply say CCS64 is a great emulator to use um, you can use it in widescreen I know you're supposed to I mean the old original Commodore 64 like many old computers back in the 80s the 90s were made for full screen not for widescreen all it's going to do is just stretch your graphics out if you use widescreen anyway I think that's it now thank you so much for watching until next time and goodbye